It's your boy girl up here back with another video and today I got special video guys man today we're gonna be rocking this team now uh someone in the comment section had uh you know gave me this team idea and I'm gonna leave his comments somewhere around here maybe I don't know where but I'm gonna show you guys there he wanted me to rock Android 17 with Goku Black uh Zamasu and Goku Vegeta right so really fun team it was really really dope i really like one of the big things that i really like is that android 17 and goku black Zamasu both can seal a main ability which can be very annoying i know that you can rock bearish and have like a triple seal team you can do a green green yellow but you gotta rock goku vegeta because they're just like top two units in the game goku black you guys already know how much i value this guy he makes so many great plays and just the amount of blue cards that you can generate with this team it's kind of nuts right you have like 17 that can you know um that can clock in with his blue card. Then you have, you know, Goku Vegeta, the stuff that they do. Uh, I just really like this team. This is a really good setup. So I do Zenkai buff um, Goku Black and um, Goku Black and Monster and Goku Vegeta because they're God Key units, and I'm putting 17 as my on a God Key team. So yeah, first match. Let's get on with it. We're facing up against a future team. So right, chilling here. You know, um, he has a really, uh, he has a really kind of like a squishy team, right? Um, Chilling here, just pop the blue card because if he sees a blast, he's gonna go to future on anyway. So I was like, you know, I might as well just pop the blast card. Slowly start to ramp up, so I can go to the uh, the Vegeta side. So you got, I can do extra damage to yellow because he has no green unit. So I pop that, get my vantage back, and then I switch out right just to do more extra damage to future Gohan. And like this Goku Vegeta, like this Goku Vegeta just does, it kind of take over the game, right? So right here, I'm popping, you know, I pop the strike. And I kind of just wanted, I could out combo there because I know that he's going to switch to Corrupt and Like that was kind of like an easy play, but I wish I had my main ability so I could lock him in and do a lot more damage. But pop the green card right there just to destroy some of the dragon, just to drag him off, right? So I'm just waiting for him to tackle, kind of read. I'm, I'm just reading him like really, really bad, not going to lie. And then I switch there because even if he switches, I'm going to generate a new card because that's his skill for Vegeta. Then he switches the, you know, <laughs> Zamasu, and I was like, okay. And I go to 17, pop the main, and I was like, all right, let's pop the blue card. And I think before I even use the blue card, this guy already, you know, forfeits the match. So I was like, wow, that was a really quick match. That was a very quick match. But I don't know. This team was very fun. I don't know. It's just something about it I don't really like. I don't know. I guess it's just different because, like, my region team is really slow paced, and when when you face a when you have a team that can do a lot more offensive damage, is really fun. And then like max go by very very quick. So next match facing up against a Vegeta clan, and he brings Heat Dome trunks, bro. Like interesting that you bring Heat Dome trunks. I might even make a you know underground goat on that guy. Let me know if you guys want him to be be next on the underground goat. Kind of like three people I'm thinking about doing right. So I pop the blue card with 17 just to get that lock in damage against Evil Vegeta because Evil Vegeta is definitely his best unit that he has. I pop the green card here, take his vanish away, and I go immediately <laughs> just to do as much damage as possible. Go in with the strike and then I pop another blue card and then I just go in with the strike because he has no strike cover change. So I'm like, all right, chill here. And then, you know, chill here with that blue card, save it, PV him. Uh, <laughs> just going kind of crazy right now. So I go with the strike with Goku. Um, chilling here just see if he can do it if he's gonna do a blast right so I can just pop the blue right but chilling here and then I go with another blast and then I kill him um, <laughs> he, he's just an old unit right he does need he needs some type of buff right but like I said bro Goku Vegeta just it's kind of just taking this by storm right like you <laughs> can get your bandage back like I, I hate this card so much like there's no way you're supposed to get like 70% of your bandage like that and you know he dodges again I just throw another blue card to get my bandage back. And then I switched to Android 17. So I lock in his his main ability. Right? So he can't even pop his old card. So he can do all this crazy damage. He can do like all the cards that he's doing right now, but he can't even pop his main ability to do like his like his old card, right? So and I switched to Zamasu as well. So I even lock his, his main ability even longer than what it was. So he's gonna ramp up do all this damage. I guess he didn't have his rush. Then I ended the game with a blue card. Um, like I said, them two to seal the main abilities is kind of nuts, especially if you're facing like a transforming unit. Like just imagine you're a transforming unit like Ella Piccolo and you're trying to transform her like like fast. <laughs> you got to deal with 17 and Goku Black sealing your main ability. Super annoying. So next match facing Sagas from the movies, which is, you know, um, bringing in uh, 
red freezer was interesting, I guess, because, you know, I don't have a blue unit, which makes sense. But right here, I'm just trying to uh, get my Dragon Ball. He goes to Burku, which is a smart play. Strike cover change unit. Um, you know, take the damage from him because I'm going to get my, I'm going to heal back anyway. That's just Goku Vegeta. They just, every time they get hit, you know, main ability switch. Every time you use a card, they're going to heal. And he does have a green unit. So I kind of just have to, to stay in with Vegeta's side and then do extra damage to yellows, right? Like, man, this, this, this unit definitely, like, it's definitely a, a, a meta changing unit, bro. Like, the fact that they can just change colors whenever they want, they can do extra damage to green or yellow whenever you switch is kind of just in the same mechanic. Like, I felt like that mechanic should have been for an ultra unit. I feel like that's like an ultra type of mechanic. Like, like Ultra Gogeta feels more like a LF, and Goku Vegeta feels more like an ultra unit. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. You guys kind of feel that way? Like, like just that mechanic alone is just so nuts. Like, that's that's like ultra worthy right there. And then, you know, Ultra Gogeta, he does have like the whole unique gauge, which is dope. But we already seen LF unit that has unique gauge. So it's not really nothing crazy, right? So. I don't know, I just feel like Goku Vegeta is more of an Ultra unit than, um, than Ultra Gogeta. Let me know what you guys think about that. But, pop the blue card there, you know, destroy Dragon Ball, they're able to kill him. So, right here, I'm just trying to just wrap it up, right? Um, he sidesteps, pop the blue card, catches them there, and <laughs> he just, you know, he forfeits. Like, this team is very good. Very good team. Uh, I really like this team. Shout out to the person that, uh, the viewer that, uh, that, that told me about this team. I really don't. If you guys do... What, you know, like maybe some really dope video ideas, you know, you guys can comment down below. You know, sometimes it does get hard for me to think about video ideas. So if you guys have some dope video ideas that I could do or possibly like, you know, really fun, you know, team setups I can do. Just let me know in the comments selection because you guys have some dope ideas. And sometimes I can get, um, I'm like, Dan, like what, what team can I do now? Right. And sometimes reading y'all comments gives me inspired to do it like for example like the blueberry boy team like i think someone in the comments recommend me that uh goku vegeta with the ultra with uh super gogeta blue and vegeta blue and i was like hey let's do it so i'll go here with this strike um just ramping up with vegeta against mono purple i was trying to do another strike and then pop the blue card with uh with 17 because of uh, you know he locks in so right here i pop the main i'm trying to fool him into think that i don't have another blue card that's why like i popped the main ability there and I'm trying to go up and scoot up against him and then, you know, use a uh, blue card. But right there, I thought he was going to, like, play very frustrated because I just did that long combo on him. But, you know, he played a smart and he was able to dodge it. So that was a big gamble by me. I think that was a really bad play. I should have just been a lot more careful because right here, he one shot 17. Um, <laughs> that's, uh, like, man, he one shot at 17. I, I just kind of felt bad. Bad play by me. That was definitely bad play. You know, me doing that caused 17 to die. And now I'm in a 3v2 uh, situation. So I pop the blue card here just to take out Super Vegito. And I'm like, all right, bro, you know, like, he has his rush. I still have my rush. So it really just depends on if I let my Goku Vegeta die, then I lose this game. Because he, you know, he has Model Purple and Goku Black Zamasu is, uh, is a green unit. So if he rushes, he just go back to the Goku side and then just kill me off. And then Vegeta is a is a decent purple right like i feel like he's a decent enough purple to kill off goku uh, goku black zamasu right so right here i kind of have to take this damage and i have to go to goku black zamasu because he's a green unit right like he has two purples so and goku vegeta can do the he can do the impossible right they could do the impossible and come back from this so right here i didn't guess him right uh now i know that he does have vegeta still so even if I'm, you know, get priority on this Goku Vegeta, he's just going to switch to Vegeta and destroy my Dragon Balls so right here. I'm glad I was able to get that um, priority, and now I can start ramping up my health. Pop the green card here for that time stop to see what he's doing, right? Uh, he pops his green for that time stop, and I'm scared right here because I thought he was going to PV me, but he just tackles, right? So I'm able just to chain my cards in, go here, and I think I switch. Yep, I go here, and then I pop the blue card. Right, I felt like I should have saved that blue card, but he probably thought I was going to LF him right there. Um, <laughs> but GG's to him. I honestly thought I was going to lose that. Like, I should have saved that blue card, and maybe, like, when he tried to use my Vanish, I popped that blue card to get my Vanish back. That would have been a good play right there, but we won, though. Next match, facing up against a Saiyan team. Now, uh, I think he used, what, Ultra Goku, Goku Vegeta, Angel Vegeta? Yes, 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 he does. So, going here. Uh, that boy is bringing that Angel Vegeta and Ultra Goku, which was very interesting to me that he did that. So I'll go here with the strike. 
I'm chaining. Uh, I go in with another strike. Um, I'm surprised that he went to Goku Vegeta instead of uh, instead of um, Angel Vegeta. But I was like, all right, let's go to 17. Let's lock him in with the blue card, doing my damn as possible, chilling here. Uh, I wish I, I wish I had better equipment for 17. Like there's that TOP Platinum equip that makes his special move damage uh, hit harder. And but I have it at an A, so I didn't want to use it because. A equips is pretty bad, right? <laughs> I don't want to be rocking no A equips. So, yeah, chilling here, but he's still doing solid, right? Taking his damage, and I think the, I think right here, like I'm just switching out, just trying to get priority, right? And he's just playing very good. I was able to dodge that, take my time out, and then I think I just go to Goku Vegeta, right? Just to do as much damage as possible, and then I switch to Vegeta because he could do more damage to Angel Vegeta. So when Angel Vegeta switches. I'm not gonna be scared because I have a unit that does extra damage to yellows, right? Because he has no green units, so I'm not too worried. Going here, right? Chaining, chaining, chaining. And then I switched to 17 and I rise and rush because I thought if I popped my main ability, I wasn't going to kill with it. Um, Angel Vegeta is still a tanky unit, so I was like, you know what? Let's pop a blue because I've been popping tons of blue cards and he guesses me. So the match definitely gets even harder just because of that, right? So pop the main ability. Uh, I have another blue card in hand, so right here I switched to Goku Black Zamasu so I can, you know, seal his uh, his main ability and just reduce his key so he doesn't do a longer combo. So I popped the green card, I'm like, alright, let's pop this blue card right here, but I popped the main ability. I think I popped the main ability, yeah, to spool him that I have a blue card, and I use the blue card in my hand, but I have another one. So destroy the Dragon Ball there, I use another one, destroy another Dragon Ball. So I know that he doesn't have a rush, because I literally popped two blue cards with Goku Black and Zamasu. So able to buy me some more time before he gets his, uh, his next rush. But, you know, with the amount of cards that Goku Vegeta generates, that I wouldn't be surprised that he has a rush, like, the next combo he does. So I go immediately. I should have dodged. I didn't think he was going to go immediately. But tons of damage on 17. I switch out just to slowly heal him up a bit. Just not trying to get PV, that's why I'm playing a little bit more passive. I dodge here, go to Goku Black to the monster just in case he rushes, but he doesn't. So, just had to make sure I did that though, because I didn't want Goku Vegeta to die, because he's a unit that, he's like my comeback unit, right? He's a person that can come back from a 1v3 and stuff. So, I switched to Goku Black to the monster, just try to keep, just keep switching, right? Because I can heal, right? There's two units that, every one of these units can heal, but him just switching in and out constantly is going to just make me get all my health back. So. Right here, I'm glad he didn't have a blue card. I switch here, pop the blue card. I think that was a terrible play by me right there doing that. I should have just, you know, dodged, but he rather rushed me. He rather rushed my best unit. So um, right here, I'm just trying to guess him. I don't guess him, so I'm literally <clears throat> facing a Goku Vegeta without my Goku Vegeta. My best unit in the game. Uh, my best unit on my team, actually, against his team. So we die there, and I gotta rely on Goku Black Zamasu <clears throat> and 17. So he locks me in. No, he doesn't lock me in, but he pops the main ability, heals everybody back up, reduces sub count. So right here, I'm just trying to play aggressive, just trying to play aggressive. So I go here with the strike. He goes to Goku Vegeta. I was like, wow, right? So right here, I'm just trying to get him with a full range blast, which I do, because that's just, that's just a skill that I've always gotten better with. I'm not scared of doing those plays, and he was not expecting that, so yes. Full range strike, pop the green card. I'm like, please don't guess me, because if you guess me, then basically the game is over. Doesn't guess me, able to kill his Goku Vegeta with my rust. So um, yeah, revenge for show. Sure. But now I'm not really too scared. Like the only person I'm really scared of is Ultra Goku. He already, I think he already popped his main ability, or I think he popped his blue card. But like I said, I just gotta just make sure I stay with Goku Black Zamasu with uh, with Ultra Goku. So I could just do more damage. So then I was like, all right, I can switch to 17, heal him up a little bit. Because Angel Vegeta doesn't do that much damage. So I could take a few hits from him because he he's not a he's not an offensive unit. So right here, he does back out and then he tackles me. And I was able to go with a, with a counter for his tackle bait. He pops the blue card, one shot. So right now, I'm just like, all right, bro. Like if he has a rush, that's the only thing that can, you know, that I could lose to right now, right? So and he's trying to get the PV. So right here. Uh, I pop the blue card right there. He doesn't PV me, but he does get the uh, he does get the combo going. So right now I'm just praying that don't rise arrest me. Just do not rise arrest me, so I can finish this match off. So I pop this, you know, blast cancel. Go in with a strike. He goes in with a tackle, and then that's the game. So yeah, fun team right there. 17, um, getting some love. Really good synergy with the amount of blue cards team can use the ceiling and the main abilities. Really fun team. 
Hopefully Androids can get some love in the future. Like, comment, subscribe, and my girl, man. And I'm out.